While it was throwback night at Gampo Pavilion, the number 20 UConn men's basketball team threw down the hammer against the Seton Hall Pirates. Led by Andre Jackson, Jordan Hawkins, and Donovan Klingon, the Huskies brought the energy offensively that kept them ahead throughout most of the game. In a season where he has been eager to be back on the court, Jackson notched a career high in points while obtaining his third double-double of the season. Just at the beginning of the week, I had a meeting with the coaches about different ways to attack them with a different guard me, so uh, I really just stuck to that. I found my spots on the court that they told me to get to, and it, it turned out to be one of my better uh, scoring performances in my career. So. While Jackson had his best game offensively this season doing what he does best, Jordan Hawkins had to take a different approach to continue his dominant stretch in Biggie's play. When his long-range shots were not following, the sophomore guard found another way to rack up points. I still put up my shot. I still got to respect the shot, so that opens up other things, opens up things for, for me to pass. Um, but the shot wasn't falling today, so I had to attack the rim and try a different way to score. Even the defense came up huge, shutting out the Pirates in a seven-minute stretch during the second half as UConn started the pull away. Seton Hall tried to come back late, but it was not enough as the Huskies held on for a 64-55 win. UConn is now fifth in the Big East at 9-7 and seven in conference play. We've lost these types of ugly, kind of not fight type of games, physical, choppy types of games. We had a great team coming in here that uh, was kind of in that, that bubble range. So it's difficult to win. Big East games are meant to be physical, and this contest served as a warm-up for another tough revenge game right here in stores. On Wednesday, February 22nd, the Providence Friars come to town in a crucial senior night whiteout. From Gampa Pavilion, this is Cole Steffen, UCTV Sports.